So we had this idea. Um, I was talking, I, I knew my friend Josh, and we were talking about maybe uh, going into drones. And I uh, was thinking about, well, with drones, that also has 3D printing applications. And uh, Josh was also really into 3D printing. So we decided that we are going to form a 3D printing company. When I heard that idea, um, it just kind of fit for me, and I knew that like that's that's it. That's the, what we need to do. That's what this area needs, and that would be an amazing niche for this awesome emerging technology. As a company, we've decided that probably the best direction to head in the very beginning is to start at the beginning, which is education. With this being a, an emerging technology, people are still trying to figure it out. They're still trying to learn what it is, and so we're trying to help everybody learn together. We're trying to start in grade school, high school, and because that's an age where the, the technology is very approachable for that age range. And uh, we're hoping that if we focus on education in that age range, by the time they get to college age, that's when we'll start seeing huge developments in the technology and we'll have a whole generation of students ready to walk into that industry. Uh, so that's our first focus, but that's, that's uh, going to be expanded further uh, in educating all age groups. So you take a solid, you turn it into a liquid, and it turns back into a solid again in whatever shape that you want. And it's called additive manufacturing technologies. And the idea of personal manufacturing has never been available to the general public like it is now. Now, you can have this on your desktop. You can have 10 of these printers in your classroom. You can have them in your office, and you don't need to go to a specialist designer to make something. You don't need to go to a specialist factory to get a prototype made. It seems scary, it seems like a big technological monster, but in reality, it's very approachable, it's very easy to learn, it's very intuitive, it's, it's not all that difficult. There, sure, you got some bumps in the road, sure, there's, there's different resources that you need to be connected with to do it properly, but that's what we're hoping to show people, is how easy it is for just a general, everyday person like myself to get into this technology. I met with some art teachers in Springdale and just to see the ways that it could apply in an art class was fantastic. They were some great teachers and they had amazing questions and the ways that they were thinking about how they could use 3D printing in their curriculums were things that I haven't even thought of yet. Uh, if you've ever seen a 3D printer printing, it is obviously the future in the works. As a parent, I feel like it's, it's my duty to prepare my children for the future. And so it's, as a parent, it's my job to research and try to find what is relevant to the future. I found 3D printing, I see that it is relevant. Um, and so I have taken steps to teach my children about 3D printing. My daughter's built a 3D printer, we've worked on 3D designing, and we're gonna continue that. And I'm very excited to see, as she grows up, what applications she's gonna find for 3D printing in her life. I know that as parents, that's one of the best things we can do uh, to prepare our kids for the future is to look for these things like 3D printing and give our children the edge while it's fun. Right now 3D printing is fun. You can use it to make all kinds of fun toys and trinkets at this, at this time. The technology is still kind of raw and pliable which is perfect for a child in the child's mind. And so as parents if we can just help our direct our kids and give our kids the resources they need to learn this technology today then as they get older they'll find more important world-changing applications of this technology and I feel like we owe that to them if we know this is coming that we need to get on board with this.